jealousy. Hmm. What's wrong, Chester? Lily has a really great basketball. Okay. And I don't! I see. It sounds like you might be jealous, Chester. Jealousy is the feeling of wanting what somebody else has. I do want Lily's basketball. What do I do when I'm jealous? It's a useful start to know why you might be feeling jealous. I know why. Lily has a super cool bouncy ball. And then it's important to focus on what you do have. Hmm. I do have plenty of other things to play with. And I have good friends. Friends who care about me. And I could always ask <laughs> Lily to share her basketball. Great idea. You know what? My jealous feeling is gone. I think I'll ask Lily if I can join in. Hey, Lily. Hey, Chester. Want to come play with us? Gotta go. I've got a basketball game. Let's spell. Want. Frustration. Is everything okay, Lily? You seem a little frustrated. What does frustrated mean? Frustration is the feeling of being upset when we can't do something. That's mm. exactly how I feel every time my castle falls down. <sighs> Stop for a moment, Lily. We all get frustrated when we try something, and no matter how often and how hard we try, we can't seem to do it. Yeah, and getting frustrated probably doesn't help, even if it's how we feel inside. Uh-huh. When you feel frustrated, remember the two Bs. Break and believe. So before you try again, you just need to take a break from whatever is making you feel frustrated. Once you're calm, imagine calmly doing whatever was frustrating you before. Believe in yourself. Slowly. I did it! Yeah! Yay! <sighs> I think I need to take a quick break before I try again. Find the matching numbers. Choices. You okay, Marco? Mm, yes, I'm fine, but I'm so hungry. And Chester's made some muffins. Ooh, delicious. Yes. We're all supposed to eat them together later. I'd really like one now. It looks like you have a choice to make. Like, choose to eat the muffin now, or choose to eat with my friends later. Uh-huh. Mm. When you make a choice, the best thing to do is stop mm. and think what will happen with each choice. Like... Do you leave the gate open? Or make sure it's shut? Stop. Think. Choose. <laughs> make sure it's shut. Otherwise, something could get out that shouldn't. Have you decided what to do with the muffin, Marco? Remember, when making choices, you... Stop. Think. Choose. If I eat the muffin now, I won't have another one to eat later with my friends. I choose to eat the muffin later with my friends. Now let's test your memory. My own. Testa, Lulu, hello? Need help. 
What's up, Nash? What? Help! Oh, I see. But you know, there is actually someone here who could help. Huh? It's you, Nash. You can do this on your own. On Nash own? Yep. Working together is great. But there are some things you can do on your own. You can dress yourself or put on your rain boots. You can feed yourself or wash your hands. So whenever you think you need help, stop and think, can I do this on my own? Let's spell. Bullying. Hey, Marco. Hello. Is something wrong? We were playing in the playground, having fun. Well, that's good. But then some kids started saying mean things and pushing this other kid. That sounds like bullying, Marco. Oh. Bullying is when someone hurts another person on purpose again and again. You mean like hitting them? Or saying mean words? Uh-huh. Bullying is never okay. What do you think you should do, Marco? I feel I should tell a grown-up. Like a parent or a teacher. It's important to tell because you're doing it to protect yourself or someone else from being hurt. Hmm. Wait, have you decided what to do? I'm going to tell someone because bullying is never okay. Now let's test your memory. Using your words. What's wrong, Lily? Ugh, I can't even! Ugh. I can tell you're upset from looking at you. But to understand why, can you tell me using your words? <sighs> Marco took my stopwatch and hasn't given it just like you told me what was wrong. The best way to let someone know how you feel is with your words. It'll probably help you feel better, too. Mmm, how? How about saying, when you take my things without asking, I feel upset. I'd like it if you gave it back to me. That is more polite. Getting the right words is important. Hi, Lily. <sighs> Marco, when you take my stopwatch without asking, I feel upset. I'd like it if you gave it back. Please? Of course. Thanks for telling me. I didn't know. Well, that worked. Because I said, when you, I feel, I'd like it if. I used the right words. Now, let's test your... Scared. Hi, Chester. Hi. Um, are you scared of anything? I used to feel scared of the dark, but I found ways to help. Like what? Having a nightlight on. And having my favorite toy to cuddle helped too. Everyone's scared of something. Like being scared of heights. Or certain animals. Or loud noises. Different people are scared of different things. And we don't always know why. Do you feel scared of anything, Chester? Um, I'm scared of roller coasters. But I really want to ride one. It's normal to feel scared, Chester. The best way to deal with it is to... Tell yourself you're okay? 
Yes. Talking to yourself okay. about it can help calm you down. What about taking deep breaths? Yes. And think about calm things. Ah. Uh, thanks. I feel lots better. And sometimes scary things can become... Whoa! Fun! Let's spell.